Welcome, this is Mel Skinner, and we're back with some more Xenonauts, and we just started an engagement against a downed enemy UFO, and we have encountered one alien so far, and I'm going to have to remain very cautious, as this alien was very close to us in one of these buildings, and there may be more in these buildings here. This is a larger UFO, so there's probably going to be more aliens that I'm going to have to keep track of. Alright, so I think it's time to start advancing with this shield. This door's open, but I think one of the civilians that was in this area opened it. And so I'm going to try and check this room first, as it is the closest to me. We'll pop the door. That should clear most of it. What I might do is I might have the assaulter go and clear the rest of this building, and I'll have the shield advance. You have to keep in mind how many action points I'm using here, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and advance with this guy. I just realized I should have checked the corners, and I didn't. I'm not going to have enough action points to do it completely, but I can do... something like that, and then we can face back this direction. And I can take a knee, and then I have cover, so if anything comes through this door, I at least get one shotgun blast at it, and we have some element of cover. All right, so I'm going to take this a, a little at a time. And as a result, there is a possibility there's an alien right over here. Uh, but there was a civilian in this area, so I'm going to assume if there's an alien here, they would have killed the civilian. And I didn't... I don't think that happened last turn. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take the gamble here. So I'm just going to take a knee until I get more of my forces up here to cover my advance. Speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and grab this rifleman. Would like to cover this area down here. We can get into a quasi-defensive position. I do have to consider the fact that there may be an alien upstairs, and they could be shooting through uh, out this window. I mean, honestly, they could shoot out this window too, so I'm not exactly sure where I would move to def protect myself against that kind of attack. Sometimes you just have to take some risk when you're setting up your guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and move forward with this one. And we'll take an E here. We're covering this area. At this point, I think the only thing I have left is the assaulter and the shield, depending on what I want to do here. I think all I want to do is move up. Okay, we found the UFO. Take my knee. As much as I have a lot of action points here, and I'm very tempted to just run up to this box and take a knee. I'm going to go ahead with that, I think. There's a possibility this is a dumb move. But I didn't expect there to be any enemy in this area here. And we're more likely going to be able to do something up close like this than we are back there. But I don't really have my men into a position that I can cover that advance, which is what is worrying me a little bit. All right, well, let's go ahead and end the turn. I think we've moved where we want to move. Okay, so there's definitely two aliens within that UFO. I'm in a good position if they run out to deal with them. As a matter of fact, I'm eventually going to want to get a rifleman, I think, into this room so that I have a view on them. As a matter of fact, right in the spot that my shield is in, it would be a, a, a great spot for my sniper or another rifleman to set up. So I think that's what we're going to end up doing. I could put my machine gun there as well. So I have a number of options, but let's go ahead and continue with this whole clearing of the building. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here. Okay. Check that corner. It looks okay. Check that corner. So that's civilian. I, I have a feeling is the one that opened this door in the first place. Let's go ahead and uh, come over here. In this case, I am going to take a little bit more risk. I can get into cover here. I play my cards right, so just take a look at that, and then we're going to go ahead and take a knee. So we got cover behind the table. We're within the building. Law enforcement officer here. We still are a ways away from the edge of the map, which is over here, so... 
All right, let's move on. So we have the Salter. Now, all the aliens might be in the UFO and clearing everywhere. Might be a little a waste of time, but you never really know. Go ahead and check the corner here. Possibility that there's an alien through that window. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and move forward, and we're going to take a knee in behind this. These crates here, anything pops that door open. We're at least in cover. We wouldn't get a shot off, but we have the cover at the very least. Okay, at this point, I think I'm going to redeploy my shield. I'm going to set up my sniper and possibly a rifleman in this area so that we can cover it. So the shield I'm going to redeploy. Let me grab my sniper, which is this guy here. We're just going to run on up. my rifleman do if I move here I wouldn't be able to get a shot regardless so I think we go ahead and just put our sniper into position not a position to get any shots off but it's a position to act at the very least and then I'm gonna put my other rifleman I think in here behind this uh these crates here I don't know if I'd have a shot at the UFO but at the very least it is a position that we can take And it is quasi in cover here. Matter of fact, I think I could check line of sight to a certain extent. All right, so we wouldn't have one, not in this spot. So, what action points I have? It might even be a better call to move in here because I might have some angles that we can do things at. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Move here. Take an E. I'll face like that. So I have some coverage. I think we can see the line of sight here. We won't have any action points to do anything this turn, but at least we're covering the door. And we're in decent cover. Okay, what can you do for me? Oh, we could move along this way. And then take a knee. Alright, well there we have an alien. Spotted him. And we have shots here. I think I'm going to go ahead and take my knee early. We want to keep the vision. I think if I backed off, I wouldn't have that vision, so... Normal shot, we have 36%. Aim shot, we'd have 58. Let's go for that. Okay, we hit. It's going to be the only aim shot we have. I think at this point, I'm just going to hold the rest of my... action points for reaction shots in case the alien decides to charge. I'd like to set up my machine gun on a spot that I can use it. Maybe over here. If the alien charges this way, we'd have an avenue to shoot at it with the machine gun. So I think that's what we're going to do. So we know that there are three aliens over in this area. So I may be right. There might not be any other aliens anywhere. All right, who hasn't moved? Our assaulter. I don't think we want to move her. I think we just want to have her hold down this cordon. If this alien decides to, rather than charge this direction, charge the other way, uh, we'll blast it. So we're keeping the flank of these two guys covered with our shotgun. And at this range, a shotgun will be very effective. Whether or not she'll get a shot off before the alien shoots at her, I don't know. But at the very least, we at least have it... Uh, Covered. All right, so who else? Okay, I think that's everybody we want to move. Let's go ahead and just end the turn. Okay, and, and did end up charging me, but it charged in behind the wall. Okay. That's going to be tough to flush out. So I may just have to hold a defensive position like I have. So we're in cover here. We, if the alien comes out here, we'll have some shots at it. Not sure I'm a big fan of where the machine gun's deployed in that case. I think I would be happier if I set it up at the corner of this building. Uh, because we'd have a less obstructed shot at the alien if it rounds this corner. We would be shooting through our own men. So I think we position here. If I'm right, we will have a line here. 
Not a good one, but we'll have one, and it'll be a little bit less obstructed. We might suppress our own guy here, but I'm just hoping that doesn't happen. Okay, so... I really don't have any actions I want to do here. Not until I am ready to advance, and I really am not there yet. It's tough, because I want to go out this door, but then we're open to a shot from the alien. Alright, well, let's advance with our shield here. We just have a lot of ground to cover, and we don't have a lot of men to do it because they're all hunkered down here trying to cover the UFO. I think it's safe to say there's nothing over here. The law enforcement officer would have acted if there was anything. Okay. Go ahead and take an E. Alright, so this old assaulter, there's no real point in keeping him just sitting here. As much as I'd like to keep an eye on this door to stop any flanks from happening, I think I would know if there were aliens coming this way because uh, the doors would be open. That's one thing about this game. Once you spot an area, I believe if doors are open and things, you know about it. So in this case, I think we're going to go ahead and just move around so that we can clear this building over here. Probably be wise to get cover. It could be an attack from this direction, which would catch this guy, but otherwise, I think we've moved everybody I want to move. Outside of the fact that I could move up to the window itself and shoot out, but I feel like we're a little bit too vulnerable of a target if I do that. Especially as this guy could run up to the window and blast a point blank range. I wouldn't like that very much. So. Ideally, it'd be better if the shield was in actual cover, but I'm not sure if I could guarantee the shield would be facing the right way, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep people where they are for now. Okay. Okay, that's why we held. There's another alien. Okay, number of reaction shots there. All right, so there was a, a flank that happened. So maybe I should have kept my assaulter in that room. On the other hand, though, the assaulter might have been killed there because this alien did pop the door, would have been attacked him from the flank. All right, well, now we just got to open up here with our machine gun. I think we should do that last, though, because we're going to want to react to this alien first. Let's go ahead with our aim shot first. Put a reaction shot out there. Let's do our normal shot. Okay, that guy's down. Okay, open up with our machine gun. I don't think we'll... Okay. I just did that in case this guy was suppressed by the machine gun fire, then he wouldn't have had a turn, so we just had to get that out of the way. I, I assume the shield here would be okay, but... Alright, so that's two aliens down. And now I'm starting to be a little bit more confident that the rest of the map's probably clear. But it's probably a better safe than sorry. In this case, so... Okay, so we have more civilians over here. I think this area, I'm not even going to bother trying to clear. I'm a little bit nervous, though. Ah, okay. I was about to say, I am a little bit nervous about the situation we're in. Okay, so this alien's going to be... Somewhat tough to tackle. I think we we go on our knee right now. We face the alien. 
Although, face over this way might be good too. We have some reaction shots. We might be able to get our assaulter into a position here in behind cover. One of two types of cover. We would be somewhat vulnerable to shots, for sure, but we'd be in that cover and we'd be able to act next turn to aid the shield. So I think it is a good call. I could throw smoke down. I wouldn't want to be in it. I wouldn't give me many action points to act though, so I'll just go ahead and move forward. Take our knee. We're in cover here. I'm gonna go ahead and just look this way so that we know anything coming down this way. Uh, we, we are at least looking at it. Okay. So these two have acted. Now it's up to my shield, possibly my other assaulter. So we know that the alien that was over here is dead now. Okay, so what I'm gonna wanna do is step out but then look both ways. So that way is clear for now. That way is clear. Should probably get into cover. And then take an E. I'm just going to take the gamble that nothing comes from these two directions here. And we're facing where we think the enemy is going to come from. I mean, I don't know how many enemy to exactly expect. But at this point, we've killed... Three that are outside the UFO. There's another one here, and I know for a fact that there's two inside the UFO because I don't think they ever left. So, all things told, that would be six aliens. I don't know if there would be more than that with this size of the UFO. So, okay. You guys, I think, are pretty much good where you are. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for turn so let's go ahead and end okay get some shots here fortunately we're missing a lot of them the alien went into cover Ooh, there's three aliens in there okay so that alien that ran in the building is going to be tough to flush out see what our, our grenade inventory is like. Fortunately, that's a little too far for me to throw. I could throw a frag grenade here and try and blow out the cover. I don't know how effective that would be. Hmm. You would have to move forward first. Well, that would hit more or less where I'd want it to hit. I kind of actually want to hit here, though. But this might even be better. Let's go ahead and throw it here. Okay, perfect throw. Now, I don't know how effective grenades are at blowing holes in... ...doors. Or, sorry, walls. Go ahead and be on the safe side and take our knee. I really don't have a move here, I think, with the Assaulter. I could get closer, but the alien could just run out and uh, flank me. So, in this case, I think we're probably better off just hunkering down here and waiting for the alien to see what it does. And until I can get in there and... Start suppressing it or something. I don't. I really don't know what to do with that. Okay, I think the machine gun we could probably redeploy here. Matter of fact, this I think would be a good opportunity to redeploy. You know what? While I'm at it, just uh, take a peek over there. Make sure there's no aliens. Okay, bring our machine gun up. Okay, she won't be able to act this turn, but next turn we could maybe uh, lay down some fire. Our rifleman might be good if we put him up in a window. Up on the upper floor. Let's check our corners real quick. I didn't expect there to be anything, but you never know.
And just to be on the safe side, I am going to take a knee here. But I will eventually put him in the window and face this direction. We'll have more shots on the UFO. As a matter of fact, this is a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mel Skinner, signing out.